Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. It's Geordie from Geordie's Cards and I am creating this cute little build a barn birthday card using lawn fawn products. I was inspired by Cherry Moss's um, strawberry card to make this one. So the products I'm using are the Hey There stamp set, the Build a Barn die set, This one is Henry's ABCs and the Picket Fence Border Die. So I started by cutting my um, barn from some chili pepper cardstock, some storm cloud cardstock, some white cardstock, and a little bit of um, sunflower cardstock for the star. So I'm just assembling all the pieces. I was trying out some new Tombow glue that I had in my stash, but I didn't like it. It was really, really sticky and it just went everywhere. So I decided to revert back to my usual uh, tonic glue. And I'm just assembling all the pieces. Um, it's quite easy to put together if a little bit time consuming and fiddly with the smaller parts, but relatively simple. So I had seen the introduction to the um, outside and stitch strawberry and stitch strawberry frame on Lawn Fawn's YouTube channel and in it Chari Moss had created this awesome little um, kind of pop-up card using the strawberry and I thought it looked really nice and I wanted to have a go at making something similar but obviously didn't want to do exactly the same thing. So I thought about this build a barn die that I had um, and haven't used yet along with this Hey There stamp set which is an older set um, but again something that I haven't used yet and I decided that it would probably work quite nicely. So I gave it a go and this is what I came up with. Um, really fun to make and I really enjoyed it. So initially I was going to create these barn doors so that they would stay open and I was going to put something inside, hadn't quite decided exactly what yet, um, but in the end I did end up just gluing them closed. The little window at the top does open and I do end up putting a little image in there as a bit of a surprise, a bit of an interactive element to the card, um, but the actual doors I just ended up um, gluing shut. So it did take me a little while to get everything assembled. Um, it's got quite a few little parts to it actually, this little die, um, but it looks so sweet. I've got a real thing about American style red barns. I don't know what it is. I just think they just look so lovely. Never actually seen one in person. <laughs> Would love to see one, um, but yeah, I just really, really like them. I haven't got any of the other builder die sets. Um, I know there are others. There's a castle, um, there's the builder campsite add-on, there's a um, house, uh, but I haven't got any of those. But when I saw this barn, I just, I really fell in love with it and I had to get it. And I'm so glad I did because it is absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. And it might actually encourage me to get some of the other dies. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, I really like this one. So just get, getting the finishing touches on there now with the two little smaller windows. You could easily leave these little bits off. Um, I just wanted to add them on because I thought it just looked really, really sweet. Um, and once that's all glued down, that's the barn part completed. And then it was on to making the actual card base. I decided I wanted to do this next so that I could figure out where everything went. So I took a standard size card at five and a half by four and a quarter. It's a top folding one. 
and I scored one of the front panels at three inches. Now I'm taking some spiffy speckles paper, this is the green one, and I am trimming it down to four and a quarter by three to go on the bottom part of the card. And then I'm taking the new Gotta Have Gingham rainbow uh, in the blue color, and I'm trimming that down to two and a half inches by four and a quarter so that it will work as the sky at the top part of my card. So once I'd um, cut those two pieces, I just used my glue dot runner to um, adhere them down to the front of the card. So the green part at the bottom for the grass and the blue part at the top for the sky. And works good this way because obviously the fold in the middle, um, I didn't want anything to cover the fold because it would make it difficult to stand up. So using two separate pieces of paper works really nicely. So I decided to take the picket fence border die. Now I wasn't sure about this because the scale is a little bit off. The um, picket fence is quite large in comparison to the barn. Um, but I did decide to go with that just because I wanted something to cover up that kind of join where the two different colored papers meet. And I just thought that this would work fine. Um, it's a little bit off scale, but I don't think anyone's gonna be too bothered by it. So I'm just assembling that together. And then I will adhere it to the, the um, fold in the card. So I'm just going to adhere the very bottom part of it down. And then when I kind of move the card up, you'll just see it kind of sticking up on the top. So once I had that stuck down, there was a bit of excess, so I just trimmed that off with my scissors and made it nice and flush to the edge of the card. And then it was time to add my barn. And again, um, I didn't want the barn to be stuck completely down because the whole point of it is that it kind of, when you slide it up, you can see the image slide up as well. So I just um, kind of figured out whereabouts it was gonna go and then just added my glue to the very bottom part of the car, of the barn, sorry, and then just stuck that on and tried to center it. <laughs> I did eyeball it, so it's probably not perfect. Um, but there we go, that's the kind of base of my card completed. So once that was done, I decided to put my, well, the part of my sentiment on. There's obviously gonna be two parts to the sentiment. So the first part is just gonna say happy birthday. I was thinking about playing around with the placement of this, but I decided just to do the happy on one side and the birthday on the other. Now you could of course cut your stamps apart to do that. Um, I just kept them together and just selectively inked part of the sentiment. And then if I got any on the other part, I just wiped it off with a cloth and it worked absolutely fine. So once that was stamped down, it was time to um, stamp my images out. So I chose to use the cow, the goat, and the horse from the Hay There stamp set. And I did end up going back with um, the little chick from Tiny Farm, just to add into that little interactive window part of my barn that I, uh, that I had created. So I used my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, as always, so that I could cope it color these and I just stamped them down a couple of times to get a nice crisp image. So on to the coloring. I started off with my little chick and I used my usual yellow combination, which is Y15, Y13 and Y11. And I used Y35 for his little beak, his feet and his comb. So 
So for my horse, I used my E20 markers, E21, 23, 25, and 27, uh, and 29, I think, as well. Um, so I started with the uh, lightest three to do kind of his face and body. And as my always with my coloring, I just did uh, darkest to lightest and blended out. And I did that a couple of times so that I got a nice smooth blend. For his mane and tail, I used the darkest three markers, so the uh, E29, 27 and 25. Um, I tried to make it look a little bit like hair, but I don't think it worked particularly well. I'm not particularly good at colouring hair, to be honest. Um, but just used some kind of flicking motions to give it a little bit of texture. I think it did a little bit, um, but it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but just fairly simple um, colouring again, darkest, medium and light. For his little hooves, I just used the darkest marker, so the E29, just to colour those in. And then I went on to his little um, nuzzle and I used E02 and E00, just to kind of um, a soft pinkish brown, I guess, uh, to add to that. And then for the little stripe, I wanted to keep it white, but I just used a little bit of N0, just to add a little bit of shadow. Onto my goat and I used my E70 markers, so E70, 71, 74 and 77. I wanted him to be a brown goat but I didn't want him to be the same as the, the horse so I just decided to use these markers. They're kind of a bit of um, an ashy brown I suppose um, and I really like them and I just thought that they would work well for my little goat. He's such a character and I just love this little image, I think he's so sweet. So same thing again, darkest, medium, light, and I'm just going over with a couple of coats to make sure it's all nice and blended out.
for his little hooves, I'm using an N8 marker just to make them nice and dark. And then I went in with um, E02 and E00 again, just for his horns. Uh, just tried to keep the same sort of colors that I had out on my desk. Then for his little um, goatee and tail, I used N8 and N6. So for my cow, I wanted her to be a little Frisian cow. So I'm using my N8, N6 and N4, N4 sorry, to add um, some kind of dark color to her spots. I wanted it to look black without going in with just black. Uh, so it gives it a little bit of shading. And then for the rest of her body, I went in with the lighter N markers. I used N0 and N2, just to add a little bit of shading. And I also used the zero marker. Um, I wanted it to look white, but also wanted to add a little bit of shading to it. And I'm using those E02 and E00 markers just to add some uh, color to the horns and the little snout, her little nose, uh, and just blended those out together. And for her hooves, I went in, I think, with the N8 just to um, darken them up and make them nice and dark. Just to finish up, I took the R20 marker and added some little cheeks to all of my critters. And then I took my white jelly roll pen and added some highlight detail to all of them as well. Once that was done, I fussy cut these off camera. I don't have the coordinating dies. Uh, and this is where I decided to stick those doors down. Um, luckily, one of the doors had already stuck down anyway, so it didn't really matter. And then I just um, opened up the little window at the top and added my little chicken side there. So he's a little bit of a surprise if somebody wanted to play around and open the window. I'm not gonna make it obvious that there's anything in there. I think, you know, if people wanna look, they can look. <laughs> Hopefully you might see him peeking out. And then I just arranged my little critters at the bottom and I'm just gonna glue them down with my liquid adhesive. So onto the little stopper pieces that I'm going to use to hold the card up when you slide it upwards. Um, I just cut two pieces from white cardstock that measure four and a quarter by two inches. 
And then the same measurement um, I cut from the green spiffy speckles paper um, from the sheet that I had already used. Before I glued that one down on top of the others, I decided to stamp the rest of my sentiment. So it was gonna read, happy birthday from the whole herd. So I'm gonna take the stamp from the Hey There stamp set um, that says from the whole herd. And I'm just gonna partially stamp that again. I don't want to stamp the herd part of it because I'm gonna use my um, ABCs die to create that part of the sentiment. So using my VersaFine ink again, I'm just gonna stamp that first part of the sentiment. Once that's done, it's just a case of adhering that on top of the other two white pieces. And then that's kind of like my little stopper part done. I did go ahead and die cut the um, ABCs, Henry's ABCs off camera. And I cut those from the blue gotta have gingham paper. And then I decided that they probably needed something to help them kind of stand out a little bit from the background. So I also cut them from the um, grey storm cloud cardstock as well. And I'm just using that as a bit of a shadow behind each letter, just so that they stand out a bit from the green um, background. So once that was done, it was time to um, try and stick that little part of the sentiment onto that green piece. And I used my grid mat to line it up nice and neatly and then took some um, low tack tape to um, adhere on top of that. And <laughs> unfortunately it moved a little bit as I was putting it down, but that was okay. I was able to kind of fix it just by um, kind of lifting up the tape and adding the, the letters where I wanted them to be. Once that was done, I could then lift the tape up carefully, <laughs> turn it over and then add my liquid adhesive to the back of those letters. And then it's all nicely lined up and ready to stick on top of my card base. Now, I still, even despite doing all of this, I don't think I got it 100% straight. I probably could have used like a T-square ruler, but I don't have one of those. Um, so I kind of eyeballed it as best I could and I think it turned out okay. So I just put that aside to dry um, and held it down with an acrylic block. And then I went back to my um, stamp set and decided that I needed another little image to the side of that sentiment. So I took the little pig from the stamp set and I'm coloring him with my E02, E00 and E000 markers. Um, just in the, exactly the same way as I've colored the other images. And then I'll fussy cut that off camera as well.
Once that was done, I just stuck him down right next to the sentiment so that he's a little added bonus when you open the card and slide it up. Then I just took my completed card base and again used liquid glue to adhere that down to the very bottom portion of the inside of the card. So that's going to act as my stopper so when you want to slide the card up and fold it open it will hold the front piece up. And there we have a completed card. This was so much fun to make um, and such a simple idea. It did take a little bit longer because of all the little die cut pieces. Um, I hope you don't mind it being quite so long as it was. Um, I try to normally keep my videos to about 20 minutes. This one went a little bit um, over that. Let me know in the comments if you find it too long and I'll try and uh, cut more out of it as I um, edit it. Uh, the finishing touch was just to add some gel, gel pen, white gel pen to the barn uh, just to make it pop a little bit more. But that's the finished card. I really enjoyed making this. Thank you so much, Cherry, for the amazing inspiration. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment or please subscribe to my channel as well. I'd love to see you back again. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.